I protested that ever since, uh, even in my own family, I have a 56 year old man who have not, I have not seen any man who is hypertensive. Even my father who died at my uh, 80 something, never, uh, never complained of hypertension, even from my mother's side. So I don't really know how this small boy of 25 years should be hypertensive. No, I have heart disease. These are my ba the basis of my protest. And uh, since I'm not in the medical field, I knew nothing about medical. I, so I have to believe him. But for me, what I had wanted was for those policemen to be, to be arrested. All those that committed that crime, because since the police, since the medical team has exonerated them, I think the police people, to the police authority, might have released them by now. Even if they are paying me one million, twenty million, is not bringing back the boy again. Uh, initially, there were some changes. The the police first had to, you know, remove the presiding. Uh, divisional police officer in the Ajigule Police Command. Uh, some of the you know, notorious policemen and women were removed and changed. Were removed and changed and new officers posted into, into the community. And initially, you know, they attempted to create a new level playing ground in terms of how they related with the mass of the people in the community. But, but, but I must say that gradually we are returning back to the business as usual situations. Roadblocks are back, you know, transporters are back paying tolls to as many, you know, policemen as possible in as many checkpoints. If you come into the communities in the in the evenings, there are there are checkpoints. Just like we stated at the burial, which held some four weeks ago, we we pointed out that uh, we cannot but reject this in totality and that the police can in no way absolve themselves from complete blame for being responsible for the death of Charles uh, or, or Carfo. The, the only reasonable you know, position for the police authority is to publicly accept this blame, offer you know, an unreserved apology to members of the family and pay the necessary adequate compensation you know, to, to members of that family and of course put in position the appropriate measures to ensure that things like that do not repeat themselves again.